Welcome back to my channel. Again, the three ways of calculating measures of position are the following for ungrouped data. General method, linear interpolation, and Mendenhall and Sinsich method. In this video, we will study calculating measures of position for ungrouped data using Mendenhall and Sinsich method. So the following objectives are to be attained at the end of this session. Calculate quartiles, deciles, and percentiles for ungrouped data using Mendenhall and Sinsich method. And interpret measures of position. So the formulas that we are going to use using the Mendenhall and Sinsich method are the following. For quartiles, we will use the formula Q sub K equals K times quantity N plus 1 over 4. For deciles, we have D sub K equals K times quantity N plus 1 over 10. And for percentiles, we will use the formula P sub K equals K times quantity N plus 1 over 100. So similar siya sa formulas ng linear interpolation. So under Mendenhall and Sinsich method, we are going to apply the following rules. We all know that Q sub 2, D sub 5, P sub 50 are all equal to each other because these measures of position are placed at the middle. Diba, equal lang sila kay median of the distribution. Also, we know that measures of position like the following, D sub 1, Q sub 1, P sub 25, D sub 4, they are all less than, tama? Less than or below 50% of the data. Now, kung andito yung hinahanap mong value at decimal yung lumabas na answer, our rule is this. If the left side of the data is decimal, you need to round up. So, papana yon. Example, ang hinahanap mo ay D sub 1. Ang computed mong value kay D sub 1 ay 2.8. D sub 1 equals 2.8. Dahil si D sub 1 ay less than 50% of the distribution, so si 2.8 magra-round up ka. Si 2.8 magiging 3 na siya. So, ang location na natin will be third position. Yun po ang pagra-round up. Another example, kung ang hinahanap mo for, for example ay D sub 3, limbawa D sub 3, ang lumabas na value ay D sub 3 equals 3.1. Ayan, D sub 3 equals 3.1. So dahil si D sub 3 ay less than 50% of the data, si 3.1 magra-round up ka pa rin. So si 3.1 ay magiging 4. Magiging 4 na ang location ng ating data. Pero pagka naman exact ang lumabas, yun na siya as it is. So kung halimbawa, si D sub, uh, si D sub 1 ay 5 of 5 na po, or 5th na po yung magiging location. Walang mangyayaring round up. Okay? So ina-apply lang natin ito kapag ka decimal yung lumabas na answer. We also know that the following measures of position like D sub 6, Q sub 3, P sub 75 and D sub 9 are measures of position that are above or greater than 50% of our data. So, for instance, na decimal ang lumabas, here is our rule. If the right side of the data is decimal, you need to round down. So, paano po yan? Halimbawa, ang nawawalang or hinahanap natin ay D sub 7. So, halimbawa, ang lumabas na value ng D sub 7 ay 8.5. So, D sub 7 equals 8.5. Alam natin na si D sub 7 ay above 50% of the data. So, magra-round down po tayo. Si 8.5, magiging 8 na lang po siya. So, the location will be 8 data. Clear? Another example, kung ang hinahanap, for, for, for instance, is D sub 9. Ang lumabas na value natin ay D sub 9 equals 10.8. O, 10.8 ang lumabas. 10.8. So, si D sub 9 ay above 50% of the data. So, si 10.8, ira-round down natin. Si 10.8, magiging 10 na lang. Meaning, the location of the data will be the 10th data. So, I hope that's clear. So, pagka naman walang decimal, yun na siya as it is. So, apply natin yung rule with the following examples. Example number 1. Given the following weights in kilograms, 
50, 52, 48, 58, 53, 54, 59, 65, 61, 67, 380. Let's find Q sub 1 and Q sub 3 using Mendenhall and Sinsich method. So, let's first find Q sub 1. First step, we need to arrange the numbers in ascending order. So, pag inayos siya, yan na siya. 48, 50, 52, 53, 54, 58, 59, 60, 61, 65, 73, 80. Next, bilangin natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, ang N natin is equal to 12. Now, we will apply our formula. Ang nawawala natin ay Q sub 1. So, ang gagamitin nating formula is Q sub K equals K times quantity N plus 1 over 4. Here, si K, papalitan natin ng 1. Si N naman, papalitan natin ng 12. Substituting these values, we have Q sub 1 equals 1 times quantity 12 plus 1 over 4. Next, 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. So, we have Q sub 1 equals 1 times 13 over 4. Next, 1 times 13 is 13. So, Q sub 1 equals 13 over 4. Now, si 13 over 4, divide na lang natin using calculator. So, Q sub 1 equals 3.25. Now, anong gagawin natin kay 3.25, which is the location of the data? So, dun sa ating rule, diba, si Q sub 1 ay less than 50% of the data. Dahil less than 50% of the data, si Q sub 1, that means you, ha you have to round up. Ira-round up natin si 3.25. So, pag ni-round up natin si 3.25, that will be equal to 4. So, ang hinahanap natin, therefore, is the fourth data. So, asan si fourth data in our example? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ang fourth data natin is 53. Therefore, Q sub 1 equals 53. So, yun ang paggamit ni Mendenhall and Sinsich method. This means that 25% of the students weighed less than or equal to 53 kilograms. Next, let's find Q sub 3 using Mendenhall and Sinsich method. So, ito pa rin yung ating given. So, unang step, we have to arrange the numbers in ascending order. Then, bilangin natin ilan lahat ng mga numbers. In this example, dahil parehas lang siya, so ang N natin ay 12. Tama? Next, Q sub 3 ang nawawala. So, we need to use the formula Q sub K equals K times quantity N plus 1 over 4. Now, in this example, si K, papalitan natin ng 3. Si N naman, papalitan natin ng 12. So, we have Q sub K equals 3 times quantity 12 plus 1 over 4. 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. Next, 3 times 13 is equal to 39. Divide na lang po natin ito. 39 divided by 4. So, ang Q sub 3 natin ay 9.75. Again, Q sub 3 equals 9.75. So, ang Q sub 3, di ba, alam natin na si Q sub 3 ay above 50% of our data. O dahil above siya, ano ang rule natin yan? Dahil decimal lang lumabas. So, dahil above siya, we need to round down our answer. Ang answer natin ay 9.75. Dahil magra-round down tayo, si 9.75 will be 9 na lang. That means, the location of the data is the ninth value. Hanapin natin si ninth value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, ang ninth value natin ay 61. Therefore, Q sub 3 equals 61. This means that 75% of the students weighed less than or equal to 61 kilograms. So, ganun po ang paggamit ni Mendenhall and Sinsich method. Another example. Given the following test scores, 10, 12, 12, 8, 13, 14, 17, 15, 11, 20, and 23, let's find the following. D sub 9, D sub 5, P sub 35. So, hanapin muna natin si D sub 9. So, let's find D sub 9. So, here are the numbers. First step, arrange natin siya in ascending order. Doing so, we have 8, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 20, 23. Next, bilangin natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ang N natin dito ay 11. Ang hinahanap natin is D sub 9. That means we need to use the formula. D sub K equals K times quantity N plus 1 over 10. In this part, K will be replaced by 9. 
10 will be replaced by 11. So substituting 9 and 11, we now have d sub 9 equals 9 times quantity 11 plus 1 over 10. 11 plus 1 is 12. So we have d sub 9 equals 9 times 12 over 10. Multiply these numbers. So 9 times 12 is equal to 108. 108 divided by 10, that's equal to 10.8. Ang lumabas nating answer ay 10.8. So again, d sub 9 equals 10.8. Consider natin si d sub 9. We know that d sub 9 is above or greater than 50% of the data. It happens that our answer is a decimal. So what's the rule regarding that? d sub 9 is above the 50% of the data. So we need to round down our answer. Pag ni-round down natin si 10.8, that will be equal to 10. Therefore, we are looking for the 10th data. So, asan po ang 10th data? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10th data is 20. Therefore, 20 is our final answer. D sub 9 is equal to 20. This means that 90% of the students got a score less than or equal to 20. Next, let's find D sub 5 using the same example. First step, Arrange the numbers in ascending order. Next, bilangin natin lahat. So, ang value ng n natin dito ay 11. We are looking for d sub 5. Since we are looking for d sub 5, we need to use this formula. In this part, k will be replaced by 5, n will be replaced by 11. So, substituting these values, we now have d sub 5 equals 5 times quantity 11 plus 1 over 10. So, nag-substitute lang po tayo dito. Si K, 5. Si N, 11. Next, 11 plus 1 is equal to 12. So, that will be equal to D sub 5 equals 5 times 12 over 10. Times na lang po natin. So, 5 times 12 is 60. So, D sub 5 equals 60 over 10. 60 divided by 10 is equal to 6. D sub 5 equals 6. Dahil exact naman yung lumabas nating answer, walang round up or round down na mangyayari. So, as it is na siya. This, the answer is the 6 data. Hanapin natin ang 6 data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 6 data is 13. So, therefore, D sub 5 or the 5th decile is equal to 13. This means that 50% of the students got a score less than or equal to 13. Next, let's find P sub 35 using the same set of examples. First step, arrange the numbers in ascending order. Doing that, we have this. Next, count count the numbers or find the value of n. Ang n natin in this case, same paren, is 11. We are looking for P sub 35. Therefore, we need to use the formula P sub k equals k times quantity n plus 1 over 100. In this part, k will be replaced by 35, n will be replaced by 11. Thus, we have p sub 35 equals 35 times quantity 11 plus 1 over 100. Let's simplify this part. 11 plus 1 is 12. So, we have p sub 35 equals 35 times 12 over 100. Next, 35 times 12, that's equal to 420. So, we have P sub 35 equals 420 over 100. 420 over 100 or 420 divided by 100 is equal to 4.2. So, P sub 35 equals 4.2. Ang concern natin dito is that P sub 35. As we all know, P sub 35 is below 50% of our data. So, if that's below 50% of our data, we need to round up our answer. 4.2, pag ni-round up, that's equal to 5. So, we are looking for the fifth data. The fifth data is, uh, can be found in this part. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ang fifth data natin ay 12. Therefore, P sub 35 is equal to 12. This means that 35% of the students got a score less than or equal to 12. I hope clear sa inyo ang pagkukompute or calculate using Mendenhall and Sinsich method. Thank you for watching.